Yo, what is up? It's Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Max for Live video tutorial. This is going to be on this delay machine here. And uh, it's a very, very simple delay. Um, it's not ideal, I guess, for any sort of project, especially when there's built-in um, delay lines inside of Ableton. And there's plenty of effects out there. But I think that making this device is very important to learn how things are done inside of Max. So um, what we're going to do is just make this right here. It's just got a simple feedback, delay time, and dry wet signal. And what I've done is I've just um, animated or put in an automation line here for the, the dry wet, and I've just got the delay on the feedback on. So let's see what the effect will be. Which is pretty cool. I mean, um, it's kind of astounding that we can do that fairly quickly inside of Max for Live. Now, um, if you did want to use this after you built it and you were concerned about delay time, um, I don't know how to make it sync up, um, you know, have it an eighth or a quarter and stuff like that. I'm going to try to figure that out in the future, obviously. But uh, for right now, if you wanted to use the time in milliseconds, there are websites out there like uh, the whippinpost.co.uk, um, or if you just go to Google and type in delay time calculator, um, you come in. My track right now is at 128 BPMs, and maybe I'm looking for a quarter note delay, and it's at 469 milliseconds. So, I mean, there is a way to do it, although uh, it's difficult to get it perfect in here, but then again, you could do it inside a live. But like I'm saying, it's definitely easier just to use the delays inside of Ableton or another third-party plugin. But it's very important to make the device and start basic so we can start adding on and making it more custom, uh, more custom and more uh, intricate and stuff like that. But anyway, enough talking. Uh, let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to close out of Firefox so it doesn't eat all my juice. And I'm going to bring a max audio effect onto the channel here. And I'm going to open it up. And do kind of this bad boy. And again, I'm going to get rid of these kind of notes here. I'm going to drag the plug in right about down here. And I'm just going to delete these lines for now. Boom. Um, for the dry line, we just want to make kind of a straight shot to the plug out. So I'm going to type in N, multiplier, oops, excuse me, multiplier, multiply two signals, boom. And I'm going to delete, I'm going to multiply this by hitting, well not multiply, I'm going to duplicate this by holding down Alt before I click and drag. And I think we need to make about four of these. And I'm just going to kind of position them randomly. Uh, for right now, for the dry channel, I'm just going to pull this over like this. And I'm just going to straight shot it down from the plug into this bad boy. Plug into this bad boy. Nice. And then straight to the plug out. Fantastic. And that looks pretty cool. Another neat thing, too, is if you want to make these, instead of these curved lines, if you right-click and hit align, it will make the lines look a little better. So that looks a little smoother. Although sometimes it gets kind of confusing if they're on top of each other, but you can always just move them down like that so you can get a better view. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is set up a delay line. And the way we're going to do that is use the tape in. So I'm going to hit N and then type in tape and use this tape in, boom, like that. And we're going to use the two seconds. So I'm going to type in 2,000 here. Boom. 
And I'm going to pull this over, and I'm going to come out of the plug-in into the tape. Boom. Boom. And I'm going to right-click. Right-click, align. Align. And I'm doing this so you can kind of visually keep an eye on what's going on. So there we go. Um, if we have a tape in, then naturally we need to tape out. I'm going to hit N and hit tape out. There she is. Pull her down. And we don't need to uh, enter any values into the tape out. We just need to connect the tape in to the tape out. Then we want to add a live dial, N live dial. There she is. I don't know why they're all she's, but whatever, right? Uh, let's come into the inspector. This is going to be for the feedback. So I'm going to come down to long name, feedback. I'm going to highlight control C to copy and then title this feedback as well. Um, minimum, we want to go up to 2000 because that's um, the tape in, we're going to go from 0 to 2000 in the tape in, so we need the dial to go to 0 to 2000 as well. Um, enable, and we're going to start it off at 0, that's fine, and I want to go by time, so we get milliseconds. So that looks pretty good, then we can close out of there. Right click, and write add to presentation, or click add to presentation, that's good, and then come out of here into the tape out. So now what we have is this tape in is, is being controlled by this feedback radial button here. That's what we want. Uh, the next thing we want to do is come down to this bad boy. Tape out. Oops. Down to here. That looks good. And then we're going to come out of here into the plug out. Cool. We can kind of move this around. Um, Line, line, sweet. Um, I guess that's the best view. I don't know, but just keep in mind of where it is, and if you need to adjust the view of these lines yourself to keep it, uh, keep track of what's going on where, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, the next thing we need to do is set up a feedback. Um, oh, excuse me. This is delay line. What am I doing out here? Being crazy. Anyway, just real quick, let's just change this to delay. Uh, the delay, I just titled it wrong. I apologize. Delay. Yes, sir. Delay. That's all we needed to change was the title. Cool. That's good to go. Now we need to set up that feedback line. That's what I was just about to say. Again, we need to hit N and hit live dial. Double click. Brings it in. Come down to the inspector. This is a delay line, so we want to go from zero to we're going to go 99 percent. Uh, we're going to change it to percentage, and we're going to title it feedback. This is the actual feedback one. So, <laughs> copy, paste, zero to 99. Good to go. Close it out. Boom. Um, put it right about here and hit N. Jeez, I just lost N there for a second. Hit the forward slash and we're going to get divide by two numbers and we're going to type in 100 point. Boom. Bring this right here. And then we're going to come down here below the 100, type in N and we're going to type in flow. We want the flow num, which is display is an uh, display and output a number. Cool. And bring this down. Bring this down. And then we're going to bring this back into this. Boom. And now for kind of a tricky part or a kind of something that doesn't really make a lot of sense. We're going to come in from the top here and we're going to bring it to the tape out. And then we're going to tape the bottom and we're going to go to the tape in. And that might seem a little strange, but I mean, we got to do what we got to do out here, right? Boom, and align, bring it over. So we're getting kind of this feedback loop, and that's what that's doing. You know, you can actually see a loop, feedback loop, get it? Okay, so now that that's done, that looks pretty solid. 
Um, the other thing we need now is a dry, wet knob. But oh, right click up here, add to presentation, of course. Click down here, hit type in N, one more live dial, boom, double click. Where is she? She's over there. Um, inspector. This is for the dry wet, so obviously we want to go from 0 to 99 or 0 to 100. I'm going to type in 99. Uh, enable, I'm going to leave it in at 0, so when you drop it on the, uh, on the audio channel, you're not get instantly getting an effect. And I'm going to go to percentage and uh, retitle it, obviously, dry wet. And the simplest way is to control C to copy and then just post it here. Now you might be asking yourself, what's the difference? Why are we doing this? The long name can have a breathly explanation about what this is. The short name is what's going to show up on the presentation. So that's why there are two names there. So um, it's just good to practice just to keep um, naming them both because they're both important. And you don't want to have a bunch of just live dials on there. So anyway... Um, now that we have that, what we're going to do is just copy. We're going to select both of these, and before we click and drag, we're going to hit Alt, click and drag down, and drag it right below it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just boom, and it's already there. Okay, I'm back. Apologize for that. Uh, the wife was calling. I need to leave soon. But anyway, um, the next thing we need to do is get a message going here. Uh, and while I'm thinking about it, right click, add to presentation. Um, click below here, N, message, la, 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 message, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dollar sign one, space 50, sweet, and if you need to know what that is, again, right click, open message help, and I'm going to bring this down to here, and the next thing I need to do is add a line, N, line, bring this over here, and I want to come out of the message into the line. And I want to come out of the line into this bad boy. Okay. I want to align. I like to align. I just think it looks better. And I need one more thing, I'm pretty sure. Let me see here. I'm looking around. Yes, I need one more little bad boy, and I need him right here. And I'm just going to type in N, an exclamation point, and then dash, and we're going to type in the flotilla, I think it's called. Here we go. Signal subtract, and then I need to type in a value here, and I'm going to put one, oops, one dot. And put that right there. And from this line out, this line here, I also need to come into this bad boy over here. Oh, why did it? What have I messed up here? Okay, I needed a space there between the flotilla and the one. So now that I've put that space there, I come, oops, out of the line here at the bottom and into this bad boy up here, right click align, and then out of this into here, and into here. And that looks good. Um, the next step would be to come into the presentation mode. And I've got my three radials, and I'm going to put my delay, and put my feedback, and I'm going to put my dry wet. And I'm going to save as, ah, save, and I'm going to call it delay test 2. You can call it whatever you want. Save. Oh, and I've saved it, and it looks like junk, and that's because I didn't come to view patch inspector, open in presentation mode, and then come back in and save again, and there are my dials. So let's come down here. Let's click on our dry wet. Let's add a little bit to it. There we go. Maybe about 50%. Let's turn our dry, our feedback up. I don't know, like 40, 35%. And the delay time. Let's just see if it worked. <laughs> And 
and boom, we've got a delay machine, which is pretty sweet. And hopefully I'm going to make uh, add on to this one just like I did with the other ones. Um, I was going to start with just making the delay and feedback, but I thought that was a little too simple for us because I've got nothing but faith in you guys. So I added that dry wet signal there. And uh, I'm going to see about adding on to this to making it um, a little bit better, a little bit nicer. And we will continue to work on this delay line until it is the best delay line out there. Feel me? Anyway, um, I hope you like that. I hope you learned something. And uh, always get at me on Facebook. And we will um, continue to just keep making stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time.